afternoon everyone. Desert Horizons, AZ off-grid unplugged RV ranch. I said it's morning, the sun's just coming up, so that means it's before six o'clock. And there's Ruger. Good morning, Ruger. Good morning, puppy. <laughs> yeah, he's starving. Well, I don't feed him until after six. I don't want him to get too used to it, so he's just dealing. <laughs> Uh -huh. Beautiful day. Getting close to August. Yeah, it's just oh, perfect morning. I have no idea the temperature, but I bet 75 degrees. Which is why I like the hot days, because that equals the warm nights. I could care less about having the hot days, as long as the nights are warm. And the days are warm, then I'm fine. Anyway, today's thing was going to be about uh, redundancy or backup systems for most everything. Um, I have quite a few backup systems in here in place. Some I don't, obviously. Like, I really only have one thing of water but there's still over 1600 1700 gallons in it so and I've been here real close to three months so anyway um, one of the things I have in, in redundant in a backup system in there is that that new uh, um, small refrigerator 2.7 cubic foot I have that one plugged in, keeping whatever I need cold, cold. But then I also have the onboard RV refrigerator, propane, which if the electric one fries, then I can use that. But I'm not using it now except for storage of sorts. Um, so I mean, that's, that's one example of redundant systems. Another thing I also have is uh, two TVs, uh, in case one fries, then the other one will work. I keep seeing things moving in front of the screen, but I'm not seeing them in real person. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I also have two, actually I got three methods of heating the place this winter. I got the onboard RV propane furnace which I'm going to really try not to use. And also, I just ordered a, a 10,000 BTU propane wall furnace-like thing, a small box that sits on a table, wall, wherever you want, it's portable, um, that I'm going to run directly off of the 100-pound propane tank. So, and then I also have my uh, Mr. Heater Buddy. So that's three things, three ways to keep me warm this winter. I also have, uh, actually I got three cooking methods too. Um, I have the propane stove that came with the uh, RV. I also have a, a portable Coleman propane stove that I have been using when it got too cloudy. And it was cloudy all day yesterday, up until about just before sunset, and it cleared out. So I wasn't able to get much juice at all yesterday. So, and then the uh, the third method of cooking I have in there is my electric hot plate, which is what I really try to use when the sun is shining. Cook my stuff for free. Hey, I love it. Um, and I also... I have, well, probably three coffee things, too. I have, I can do my instant coffee, which I'd really rather not. <laughs> um, <coughs> I have an old drip coffee maker. Uh, it's a single serving one, but there's no hot plate in it, so it doesn't heat the coffee up as it's cooking it. So I don't really like that one very much. And I just got a new French press. 
a new small French press coffee maker. I tried the first cup yesterday and it was good. Um, very simple. All I got to do is boil water. Boom, it's done. Well, and I can do that. The problem is, is it wouldn't keep it hot enough the way I like my coffee. I like it boiling hot. Screaming. So, um, and then I also got the, at least two ways to charge um, small batteries, A's and D's and stuff like that. Um, I got a solar charger, I got a plug-in electric charger. Uh, you know, it's just in case one goes and the other one will work. Um, I also have uh, um, four inverters. I have the big one on the wall, the uh, 2000, 3000. I have uh, a small black and decker, 750 watt, I think, 1000 watt maximum. <clears throat> and then one that goes into the cigarette lighter in the Jeep, so it doesn't offer a whole lot of power, but hey, it allows me to run a few things. And then I have another one in my Faraday cage that I've got stashed away. Another, I don't remember how big it is, I think it's 500 watts. So, and then I also have, actually I've got three computers in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got the laptop, I got my big desktop, and then I have my old big desktop that I got kind of stuffed up in one of the cupboards. So, I mean, to me, that's the key is, you know, it's like a few mornings I woke up, and it's been so cloudy and rainy and stuff, I didn't want to turn on my electric uh, hot plate to heat up the water to make my coffee. So I turned on the propane stove, the, uh, the, the Coleman stove. And cooked everything that way. It's like it's perfect. It's beautiful. I have options. Same thing with the refrigerator. That's uh, actually I kept this one running this time. It's been almost well, actually it's been over three full weeks of clouds up until this morning. It's starting to drive me crazy. I did, it was not all not all set up really for that much clouds. Never expecting that many clouds here, but. The way it goes. So anyway, that was like I said, that was just my uh, touch on thing on redundant systems, backup systems for you. So when one goes, um, I started that whole process thinking about that with uh, um, inverters. And it's like, man, when SHTF happens, there's no way I'll be able to make another inverter. So I better have what I'm going to need to get me through. I think my phone's going wacky on me. Um, yeah, one of these days I'll do a review or so on the French Press Coffee Maker. Tommy did one on uh, Off Grid Nation uh, probably about two years ago. That was, but I've been thinking about getting one ever since. <laughs> My only, my whole concern with it was it wouldn't keep the coffee hot enough for me to actually enjoy it while it was steeping. It's actually what, what a French press is. It's cowboy coffee with a filter. It just filters out all the grounds, or most of the grounds and grinds and stuff. So it's just basically just cowboy coffee. Just throw it in there and let it steep for a while and, and drink it that way. I just didn't want you guys to think that I had fallen off the face of the earth. Until <laughs> I just keep plugging along here. It's nine minutes already. Oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a fun day. Take care. Bye. <laughs>